Welcome to the word form video. Okay, so today we're going to learn about word form. And word form is a number written with words. Now, in the real world, it's not too often that we actually have to write numbers just with words. But we have to say them all the time. And the way we write words and the word, way we say words is exactly the same. So that's why it's very important to learn. Okay? Now, let's take a look at this number we have right here. Uh, 1, 2, and 8. All right? And the 1 is in the hundreds place. The 2 is in the tens place. And the 8 is in the ones place. It's important to know which place values they're in because that helps us know what rules we need to use to, to, to save numbers. Okay? So, when we see a digit in the hundreds place, we just say the number and then hundred. Okay? So, for example, we see a one, so we say one and then hundred. One hundred. And that's it. You just say the number and the word hundred. Then we can move to the tens place. The tens place is actually the trickiest because the, the, the number has a very different name, okay? So you have to remember these rules for the tens place. If you see a ones in the tens place, you actually have to say the, the number in the ones place and then the word teen, okay? If you see a two, you say 20. If you see a three, you say 30. If you see a four, you say 40. Five equals 50. Six equals 60. 7 equals 70, 8 equals 80, and 9 equals 90, okay? So to say numbers in the tens place, you do need to memorize this list. Once you have it memorized, you just look at the digit, we see a 2 in the tens place, and we know we have to say 20, okay? Then we come to the ones place, which is actually the easiest one, because you just say the number. So we see an 8 in the ones place, so we just say 8. So now we have 128. We just put it all together and we get 128. Remember, or, or notice, that there is a hyphen, that little line, between the tens and the ones place, the 20 and 8. So wh whatever number you have in the tens, and whichever number you have in the ones, you need to put a hyphen between them. Now if you can memorize those three rules, you can say numbers, you, you can say any number. So if you can say numbers to 999, you can say any number in the world. All you need to do is know what the comma says. So now let's look at this much, much bigger number. Okay? And we see there's two commas. Those commas, while small, are very, very important because they separate the number into something called periods. Numbers are in groups of three called periods. Okay, here we have the millions period, the thousands period, and the ones period. And those periods are going to help us a lot to say these numbers. Also to help us, we are going to send these periods to separate planets. So we're going to take the 4, 6, and 3, and we're going to send them, woo, down here to this planet. And then we're going to take these numbers that are in the thousands period and send them down here to this planet. And the ones are going to board a rocket and fly very, very far away down to this planet over here. Okay? Now let's go back to the beginning. We have a 4, a 6, and a 3. If you think you know the rules, how do you think you say 4, 6, and 3? If you said 463, you are correct. That's it. There's a 4 in the hundreds place, so you say 4. A 6 in the tens place, so we say 60. And a 3 in the ones place, so you say 3. But then we see down here we have a comma flying past the planet at a very high speed. And that comma doesn't want to be ignored because it has to say million. So because even though we think that the 4 is in the hundreds place and the 6 is in the tens place and the 3 is in the ones place, they're really not. They're in the hundred millions place, the ten millions place, and the millions place. But we don't have to say all that. We just have to say 463, and the comma does the rest. It says million. So when we put it all together, it's 463 million. 
Then we come to the next planet. How do you think we say the 2, 1, and 7? If you said 217, you are correct. But we don't stop there. Once again, there is a little comma flying by the planet, orbiting around it, and it says 1,000. So when we put this all together, it is 217,000. So, so far we have 463,217,000. And then we come to our last planet, where we have an 8, 9, and 5. How do you think we maybe say those numbers? If you said 895, you are correct. Now, there's no more commas, nothing flying around the planet, so we just say 895, and that's it. So, when we travel by all of our planets and say all the commas flying between them, we have 463,217,895. And if we come up here, we remember that when we see the number only with digits, that's called standard form, and the complete word form all put together is 463,217,895. So, if you just remember, we say numbers in groups of three, and the comma says the name of the group, you'll know how to say any number in the universe.